Hello and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please do like, share, subscribe and all of those things, all support to the channel is very much appreciated. And in this video we are taking a look at the brand new packaging from Marvel Legends on the Spider-Man Future Foundation Stealth Suit. So this is from the Beyond Amazing line. And the first thing I want to point out about this new windowless packaging is it's quite a bit smaller. If I hold up Wolverine here from the Bone Breaker Wave, you can see that it's not only shorter in size but it's also quite a bit thinner. Now I totally understand why they're going for the windowless packaging, it's a lot less plastic etc etc but for anybody that's an inbox collector this may mess you with your displays because they are quite a significantly bit smaller than what we are used to. As you can see here it's not only shorter it's also thinner. But side by side they've gone for a similar aesthetic, it's a similar look, it's got the kind of angled sides and the, the fold up front as well so it looks very similar it's just a little bit smaller. So let's open it up. The first thing I want to point out, well, there's the Spider-Man logo, but there's no top or bottom opening on these packages. You can only open them from the sides. They're, co they're connected with two little bits of tape, so I'm just going to use a bit of a knife to cut through that. And then let's open up and see what's inside. I'm quite curious about this. Okay, so we've got like a, a cardboard insert instead of a plastic kind of, um, what are they called? Uh, the shell cam clamshell things, whatever they call them. Um, but yeah, the box is nice and it keeps the box intact, so if you are an inbox collector you can keep those. I think I'm going to keep that one for a little while anyway. Um, there's a couple of bags in here, just they kind of fall out of the side, and then you can see there's the main figure in the centre compartment. Now one of the things that people have talked about is how people can take these into the store and swap them over and you're not going to know what you're buying. But this figure is really secure in there, it would take quite a bit of work. Um, now obviously you can pull them apart like this, but it's quite a bit of fiddling around in order to change it. Now, this has its pros and cons in regards to people like that that are going to take them back to the shop with other figures inside. So, as always, just be very wary. Uh, I'm going to fold it up and keep it for later. Let's have a look at what's in these bags. So, the first one is the web effects. Let's get those out. Now, we've had these before with multiple Spider Man figures. One thing that I've noticed about these ones is they're a little bit more translucent than what we've had in the past, which is cool. I, I very rarely display them with those effects. I use them much more in things like photography. I've also got two, audi two additional hands, one with the, the thwip hand and one closed fist. And then let's open up this bag and have a look at the actual figure. Now he slides out quite easily. The moment of truth to see if there's any damage or paint blemishes. Nope, from what I can tell he's okay can't actually see any defects whatsoever. Uh, I'm just going to swap this whip hand out. Um, I really hate those hands. Uh, I like using them for, for photography and stuff, but for displays they're not good ones to have. So um, yeah, all the lines and the paintwork seem to be in order. Now he's not a pinless figure, he has got pins. So you do unfortunately see those black pins on the arms through the white paint and the white pins on the legs through the black paint which is unfortunate, but I do really like this Future, found future Foundation uh, stealth suit. So it's essentially like a, a mirror image of, of what the Future Foundation suit is, like a negative version, uh, which is cool. I'm surprised they gave us this one before the original white one, but maybe they have plans for a box set or a wave in the future, which would be very cool, because I know there's a lot of fans out there of the Future Foundation suits. So let's compare him to some of the other Spider-Man figures that we've got. Now, on first look, I think that he is the same as the PS4 Spider-Man, so I'm going to grab that one. He's definitely not the same as the retro Spider-Man, that he's not got the same articulation. Here's the PS4 Spider-Man, and yep, just as I assumed, he is an identical copy in regards to the body mould. So that's the kind of Spider-Man that you're going to get. But I am pleased that they're using this bigger, bulkier Spider-Man figure. Uh, as a base because it just means that they're all very similar size um, and apart from the articulation they all look pretty similar on the shelf. Uh, they could have put him on the retro Spider-Man body I guess but I don't really have any real complaints about him being on the uh, the PS4 body um, and he looks cool, he looks very cool next to these other two, stands out quite nicely so uh, yeah got really zero complaints, it's really cool to have one of these Beyond Amazing um, figures in hand already. Uh, let's have a look at him on the turntable. Uh, so there we go, as a figure, as I said, the paintwork is really clean. Now I was a little bit worried because of it being white. Um, that's I've found that the, the figures that have a lot of white paint tend to be the ones that show up the blemishes a lot easier, but I've actually yet to find any real blemishes or 
uh, paint app mistakes, shall we say. But as you know, all in all, he's a really cool figure, and he'll look really good next to the other Spider-Man on the Spider-Man shelf. Uh, so yeah, so I'm really pleased, and I cannot wait to see what the rest of this Beyond Amazing line brings us. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please do like, share, subscribe, all of those things, and do check out my channel for other five-minute figure reviews. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Hey.